What's up, everybody, guys? Welcome back to Miyamaru and Tachizena tutorial. Today's topic is HDRI. You might have heard of that or used, but can you explain what is HDRI? Don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you about what is HDRI, how do you use HDRI in Touch Designer, and a little bit more. So, let's get started. What is HDRI? HDRI is a short of high dynamic range image and is the image that can express more brightness than a normal image. HDRI can suppress blown out highlights and blocked up shadows. Let's take a look at normal image. This part clashed the blacks. So let's turn to be more bright for the black. Then the highlight got blown out. No! Does that mean the normal image isn't enough to express the brightness and the darkness at the same time? What can fix the problem is HDRI. This is HDRI. You can see the gradation of black and no blown out highlights. So if they take your face or something with HDRI camera, they will see all the spots and the pimples you have clearly. Be careful, HDRI. Just kidding. The reason why HDRI is powerful for use is that we can use the color as lighting in CZ world. This way are called IBL, image-based lighting. It is widely used method in CZ and of course, touch designer. If you use a real-world image as light, you can produce CZ that blend well with live-action image. For example, this rendering in Touch Designer are provided by two-spot light. Of course, it's typical CZ lighting. That is obvious, right? So next, I'm gonna apply HDRI and one-spot light. This is it. It's easy and you can improve that quality. That is awesome. Besides, if you surround the sphere or cube attached HDRI as an environment map, you can blend the environment, how to use and get HDRI. So let's jump into Touch Designer. I'm going to show you how to create a previous image with HDRI and I have some tips for Touch Designer. This is the old nodes in Touch Designer that are rendered by two spotlights. And I pasted the GitHub link of this tool file. Let's start from it. I'm gonna go back a little bit for explaining important tips in Touch Designer uh, to use HDRI. Here is uh, point number one. You gotta use PPO material to do image-based rendering in Touch Designer. And apply the PPO to the G1. Okay, let's use the HDR map. So point number two, use the environment light. Use environment light. So I'm gonna add environment light to uh, use the HDR light. If you uh, want to the IBL light, IBL, uh, in touch designer uh, you need to use the environment light and this is so useful and uh, you can use very easily uh, you can improve the quality of the image let's get the HDRI how do you do that there are two ways one taking HDR photo two download it on online so this time, I choose online. I'm gonna tell you super useful website. It's for heaven. This is a website and I paste the link in description. Uh, I'm gonna click the HDRI. <coughs> Bless you <laughs> to me. Click the HDRI 
there are a bunch of HDR images here. So this, I'm gonna pick this one, Neon Photo Studio. Studio. You need to change the 1K because uh, I don't wanna pick. Uh, I don't wanna get the big data to uh, learn the code uh, lightly. So pick the 1K and make sure this is HDRI and download it. So back to Touch Designer. I'm gonna add movie file, movie file in, and click the plus button. You need to find the location of that image uh, you saved and this is it and open the link and you can see the HDRI next is the most important tip let's take a look at HDRI in video description uh, in movie file in you know it is something weird compared to the image you downloaded uh, touch designer a little bit dark right what happened uh, this is darker than one on the on the website so we need to increase the brightness I'm gonna add level top level and change the gamma to 2.2 so I think it is better than it and uh, very similar to it right so this is a important part uh, in this tutorial. I'm gonna apply the environment map from Rebel 1. So as you can see, like that. Wow. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the change uh, before the applying the HDRI. This is a before and after. You know, this is uh, highly uh, improved, improved, and I'm gonna change the environment map load date 250. You can see that like here, uh, red line and blue line. What is this? I'm gonna drag it on level one, and this is a uh, blue light and red light. IBL, I uh, can see the blue light and red light like that. I can see the reflection of. Uh, HDRI. This is impressive. Uh, okay, the process of HDRI completed and I'm gonna add environment sphere uh, to be better. I'm gonna add uh, sphere. Change the loads to 40. I'm gonna add transform so home scale is 8 and I'm gonna add texture. Textures. I'm gonna change the uh, texture type to Enquire Tangular. This is so difficult to pronounce it. Inside and Y axis. And I'm gonna add uh, Geocomp. And I'm gonna add Funk Material. I'm gonna uh, drop the level 1 to Environment Map, diffuse to 0 and Specular 0 and apply the geo sweep as you can see like this what i can i can't see the uh, shadow uh, from the light one so i'm gonna change the light and number one is environment one number two uh, right one i'm gonna change the geometry as well uh, then the one is uh, geo one and geo two one I need to uh, change the parameter. Transform. Go up. Okay. I got a shadow. This lender uh, doesn't need to the floor. I think the better way is this symbol. <laughs> I don't know the name. And the geo too. So this is. Uh, I can uh, pick uh, the all of them except geo too. Like this. Well, nice. Uh, this environment sphere is a little bit um, weird, so so I need to change that and and wire rectangular. Yeah, also difficult. Yeah, you know it's a little bit weird, so I need to change the uh, parameter. I need to go up and the red light and red light. This 
Yeah, this is so hard to see the red part and the blue part as well. So you need to the match. This is red. This is red. This is uh, blue. Blue. And if you want to, if you want more detail about superior environment, check the this video that I posted before. At the end, I'm gonna talk about a little bit difficult stuff, but you can post if you can if you know. Now, what does it mean to have a wide range of HDRI? I'm gonna give a quote. Brightness is represented by floating values of 16 bits each for RGB, which is much wider range than the conventional 8-bit integer values. What? <laughs> what is that? You need to understand that computer world is 0 or 1, so call it binary system. And a bit is a digit, so 8-bit is a 8-digit value. So range is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Turn into demico, uh, dec decimal, de decimal. Turning, 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 turning to decimal. 0 to 255. You are familiar with the number, aren't you? So it's RGB. So you can't express minus 1 or 256 because of out of range. How about the 16 bit? The range is 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 so that's why HDRI expand the range. I'm gonna try to assure it. Okay, I'm gonna add constant resolution to one one. I'm gonna choose the eight bit uh, pixel uh, eight bit fixed, and I'm gonna add the mass. I'm gonna add the mass top and click this view this button uh, named the viewer act and right click and click the display pixel value. So, you can see the uh, RGB uh, all is 255. Uh, let's expand the range 0 to 3. Speaking of 8-bit, we can't uh, expand the range because 8-bit is 0 to 255, right? So you can see the uh, system of 8-bit. I'm gonna copy the constant 1 to paste it uh, in viewport and change the 16 bit float and I'm gonna add the mass as well so change to the uh, change to the 6 5 5 or 1 uh, or 4 so and click this button and right click and display pixel value you can see the this value right because this is 16 bit uh, multiply minus 1 and you can see light minus 6 5 5 0, 4 how about 6 5 5 0, 5 this is out of range of 16 bit can we express that so let's look at we can't express so this is 8 bit or 16 bit is if you know that uh, it is helpful uh, to use top uh, tricks uh, like uh, GLSL top or GPU particle or something like that. In conclusion, HDR HDR can express minus six y minus six five five o four to six five five o four instead of zero to two hundred to fifty five. Okay. If you like this video, I want you to subscribe Mio Marun Touches in a uh, channel and push good button. If you have any comment or feedbacks, feel free to leave your comment. So, see you next video. Bye.